Hey, how's everybody doing? Well, uh, right now the temperature is what, 91 and 60, 63% humidity. 91? Yeah, 91 degrees, 63% humidity. Hold on, I'll be right back. We've got them haters out there. There it is, right here. There you go. What the hell is going on? Oh, there you go. Why the hell? There you go. 94 degrees, 63% humidity. You got them haters out there that like to tell me what the wet temperature is. And they're living in the US or some other country. But they'll tell me what my temperature is. <laughs> yeah, you got the trolls, man. The all knowing never let the mommy that let me stop. Let me stop. Well, we went to the uh, agency today. I don't know if I'm for or against these agencies. I'm not impressed, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm for or against them. This is the second time we had to go to them. And he goes, oh, we need this, we need that, we need this. Spoon feeding. Uh, I don't play that. And now we're just waiting on the appointment day. Yeah. I don't remember she told us what day, I mean, when when's she going to let us know? She probably doesn't know yet. I mean, I know she doesn't know the appointment she will, day. She will go in Manila or October then. Then? Maybe... At the, at the same time, she, she will tell us when will be... When will... What, what will be the our day? schedule to go to Manila. Yeah. See, you learn real quick here, man. You don't put up with the bullshit. You, you, you don't. And just because you're a foreigner, and just because you're a foreigner, well, a foreigner from a different country, it doesn't mean that you can lay down like a mat. No. You just you don't tolerate it. You know, when everybody, when they first get here, they're like, oh, I can't do it. You, you can do it. If you don't break the law, you can do what you got to do. As long as you don't break the law. Yeah. When you sit, sit up to the... Lies of the Maybe she, she told her just to copy, just to, to copy the, for the last departure, uh, last arrival in the Philippines. What are you talking about? The passport. Um, that came out of nowhere, that's why I asked you what you were talking about. The passport, and then when you go to immigration in Manila, she will, you, will, you need to give, give your... Yeah, I know. You have to have your passport. <laughs> I know that. That's, That's what common I said. Sense. I'm telling you all right now, man, and I talked to the U.S. Embassy. Never, ever surrender your passport. Nope. 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 Because that's what they said in the vote. They, they, were gonna, they wanted my passport. And I was like, no. They didn't fight over it. They didn't fight over it. You notice that? Because they didn't they fight over it. They, they just dropped right there. Because they no. know. They know, they know you're not supposed to. When she's talking to the, 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 okay. the officer in Manila, I, I said, <laughs> no. So no matter what they tell you, unless it's like, like when you're going, coming into immigration, yeah, you got to hand it over, they look at it, you know, and they, they, they scan it, make sure you're not a wanted or anywhere or anything like that, mm -hmm. and they stamp it. That's the only, that is actually surrendering your passport for identification, but, if somebody comes up to you and says, the police, and says, give me your passport, you don't have to give them. You can give them some other kind of form of ID. You do, do not have to give them your passport. That is gold. When you're in, your, you're in another country, that passport is gold, man. You do not give it up. And I don't care what anybody, you can put whatever you want. I know the law. You do not surrender your passport. Every, every individ individual who's holding passport, please don't give, don't. Don't let anybody, anybody to, to keep your passport. 
hold it. Yeah, because that's gold, man, because I'm telling you. You don't want to lose your passport in the Philippines, I'm going to tell you right now. You don't want to lose it. Or any country, for that matter. Or any country, you do not want to lose. You don't want to give up your passport. Like I said, they were like, oh, I'll, what they want to do is they're going to take my passport. She was going to take my passport and take it to Manila with her. No. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. I'm sorry. No. And it, 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 it wasn't it for a debate. As soon as I said no, the conversation was over. So she knew I knew what I was. No. No. You don't give it up. That's gold. That passport is gold, man. What are you going to do if you don't have a passport? You can't go anywhere. You can't leave. You can't go to a hotel because 99.9% .9 of the hotels, they want to see your passport. Because <laughs> that is an actual certified ID, basically. That's an ID. Even though you got. You know your your uh, driver's license from a, you know the U.S. or England or whatever. That could be counterfeit as far as they're concerned. Your passport is really hard. What is this? And they know what the look. Yeah, it's just a storm if I do. So keep that in mind. I know probably all are like no shit. But I'm just telling you, man. And I was really unsure that until I called the U.S. Embassy and they were like, you do not give that passport up to anybody. I don't care who they are. They could be the president of the Philippines. Nope, you ain't getting it. No. <laughs> That's my public PSA, public service announcement. <laughs> but other than that, man, didn't want any me first people, which was great. The me first people. We didn't want any of them. <laughs> Yeah, we call them over here, we call them the meat first. They're, they're the ones that fight in front of lines and everything like that. They think they're much better than everybody else waiting in line for something. They think they can jump ahead. The meat first people. What's to that? You know, I just, To me, my a DIY shop is a place where you can go... <clears throat> you're gonna buy tools, you're gonna buy lumber, you're gonna buy... It's not where you go and buy... Well, you buy a clock, so you go and buy picture frames. Not picture frames, but pictures for frames. I think they got the word DIY confused over here. DIY. You know what I mean? It's not DIY. Is that? No. They have places they, they claim to be DIY shop, do it yourself places. I mean, yeah, they got some plumbing needs. Yeah. Not a whole bunch, but they got some plumbing needs. They got some, like, uh, cell phone holders that have uh, I don't know what else give me throw that, throw that, work with me here what else do they have the, the, um, kitchen wares yeah like plates and stuff like that that's not DIY that's Walmart <laughs> Walmart has more DIY Ooh. than these DIY places have well, tools, yeah, but they're cheap tools. I looked at every one, every one of them was from China. Every one of those tools, because I'm looking for uh, some wrenches. Because I had it, I had, I bought, I bought, a, I had a bunch of tools sent to Lassam, okay? No, they all disappeared. I'll say 80% of them disappeared. I had a uh, wrench set and a sleeve, you know, you roll it up gone, you know, uh, white scripts, gone, I'm not stupid, and I'm pretty sure if like, when we go to our property and you go inside that mill, I'll probably find all of them sitting in there, you know, one thing I can't stand is a thief and a liar, man, so, yeah, we went to the DIY shop, and then we stopped at the bakery, now we got you, what was it called? Cheese bread? Yeah, I mean I I, I did you taste cheese in yours? Yeah. My I screwed up. Okay. Yesterday it was really hot and I was outside a lot and sweating. And what I would do is go in and go go in the house, go inside the bedroom and turn that aircon on, right? And it got really, really cold. Well, 
woke up this morning with a cold. And no, it's not the cold. It's not the cold, man. So I don't even want to hear that. I'm tired of hearing about that. It's, it's just a cold. Sore throat, you know. So, got to take care of that now. A little bit of headache. I think I'm starting to get congested. <clears throat> but I'll live, man. It ain't going to be the first cold. I'm 58 years old. I think it's the first cold I ever had in my life. You, you got them? Got yeah. Like yeah, I got this. I got this medicine. It's, I thought it was like you know. I thought you drink that. Like Domitap, not Domitap, but you know what you. No, you don't drink it. You gargle it, spit yeah. it out. It's not liquid. It's not medicine. It's tape. You gargle it. Oh yeah, that out. is for sore throat. But I thought it, it, that is medicine for. Intake. Says gargle. Yeah. See, I know this over here, man. But you get anything, medicine, or so anything, anything. The instructions on it are very, very vague on how to do, use it. Like the Iron Mike Mr. Car. The Iron Miles guy, okay? Has nothing in there. And the, the instructions are very vague. You know? You plug it in and let it charge up. You, you know? Because. She says you keep it in the cradle you told you want to use it. But once you take it off the cradle, there's no longer power that if, if it is that way and it starts cooling down. Yeah. It's not that. It's not an iron. It's way up. You'll you'll find out. When you get something, the instructions on them are very, always very bad, you know. You can just deal with it, man. Other than that, man. It's just another hot day. Green clouds. Yeah. Yeah, we got some great clouds moving in. Yeah. What's that? You gotta speak up. Oh, it will get rain for uh, tonight so that my plants will be. Watered. Yeah, but I noticed when it rains heavy here, the ants. Ants, start, yeah. ants come in the house. <laughs> a lot of ants. We're not talking a little bit of A lot of ants come into the house. Now they don't attack you, but it's just, they get in everything, you know, but ain't sealed, but ain't sealed up, they're in it. Can't leave nothing out. If it ain't sealed, they're in it. That's why Miles with her cereal, she keeps it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. She don't want ants getting into it. And the potato chips, open up a bag of potato chips, we put it in the refrigerator. We just don't want ants getting in there, We're getting into it, you know? Nothing like pulling out a potato chip and seeing ants on it. Leaves <laughs> my appetite. Anything else? And other than that, there ain't nothing going on. Mm. Hopefully my, this all clears up next couple of days. Mm. Huh? Not hopefully days tomorrow. No. I don't want to go on that. The older you get, the longer it takes you to heal. Yeah, we got the fan going, so I'm sorry about the air noise. The older you get, the longer it takes you to heal. I said between the... Ginger and, and honey in warm water. My grandma used to, not my grandma, used to, used to give us tea with honey. No sugar, no cream, just tea and honey. Or I do it the old fashioned way, a little bit, a little bit of whiskey in it. <laughs> Make you sweat, sweat it out. It's a little bit of whiskey. You never heard of that? No. I'm pretty sure there's like a couple Irishmen, 
Yeah. Somebody yeah. rest me in on, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. A little bit of whiskey. Sweat that damn thing. Raises your blood pressure as you sweat. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I was going to say something, but it. So, you got any other words of. Ah, my voice. Any other words of wisdom? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to eat tonight. I don't feel like I'm going to eat. She'll take it personal. I don't want to eat if I don't like the food. No, I don't want to eat because I feel like shit. <laughs> <coughs> I took some Advil too, so that's just for starting to get a headache. This is cold. All right, man. Let you all go. Talk to you later. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Bye, bye. <laughs>